Hello guys, today I will teach you how to decapitate water into hydrogen and oxygen and the machinery needed for this. Cause you know, I got time to spare. Now oxygen gas, the byproduct, I don't have a use for it at the moment. Besides of course breathing. As you know, basement rollers don't get much fresh anything that includes oxygen. The purpose of this machine is to generate hydrogen, which can be used for and the chemistry, of course. So this is the apparatus I have for this, this absolute piece of junk. Essentially, what this thing does while it's standing up is it uses these two big copper electrodes to electrocute water, and the gases then pass all the way up here. Now, you might be thinking, dude, what the hell are you all about making this? The answer to that is, I do not know. So what this thing will do is it will generate hydrogen and oxygen by hooking these two copper electrodes up to a battery or a power source of some sort. I'll be using a power supply unit. It will be pulling the hydrogen towards the negative anode, cathode, and up to this bottle, and the oxygen to this side and we'll be passing it through this tube. So we'll not go over how to build one of these, but I will see, give you the basic setup. Uh, you'll need two bottles, a tube, a bit of copper wiring, a straw, hot glue, a bit of wood, and a bit of piping. And that is it. So to actually get uh, hydrogen to extract it from water, you'll need this setup, water and salt, as you'll be needing a very salty solution, like we're talking mountain goat drinking level salt. The more salt is in the solution, the merrier. The more salt, the higher the current, the less the resistance, the better it works. Uh, you'll also need a power source. I will be using this power supply unit right over here, instead of any type of battery, just because the power supply unit can generate more power and hold it for longer. You can use a battery, but only if you have like 17 spare ones. This process is very energy consuming. You could hook it up to a car battery though. That would work in theory. So I'll now begin generating the solution and I'll pour it into this thing and then show you this thing in action. So I poured all the liquid in. Now the only step is to actually light this thing up. I will turn on the power supply unit. 28 volts nearly, uh, this is some very high voltage, don't touch this. So if you want to make hydrogen, you attach the negative side to the side with the bottle on top of it, and if you want to make oxygen, just invert it. And my resistance is too low. Give me a second. To fix it, I slightly diluted the solution. So this means that before I lie, there isn't actually an optimal concentration for the salt. But that's besides the point. As you can see, there's a little bit of hydrogen being released. This one has become slightly cloudy. And there is a little bit of green stuff forming around it. Yeah, see a bubble just passed upwards. For constant, for constant supply, I have to kind of straighten this straw thing, which I actually use as a valve. So this thing will begin producing hydrogen, and the hydrogen will begin going over here. There is hardly any. So I will now leave this thing for like half an hour. I'll show you how much it were, how much was produced. So just for a small demonstration, as you can see, there is no bubbles flowing inside of this thing. However, the second I turn the power block on, Bubbles will begin to arise inside of this thing. Yeah, you can kind of see them right now. Uh, that is hydrogen gas. Another quick interruption. Uh, the yellow stuff underneath forming around the electrodes, I am 70% confident that is copper and hydrate. Why it's forming, I'm guessing the hydrogen is reacting with the copper oxide or the copper. I have no idea why it's forming, but those are my best guesses. Uh, I'll be back to... I'll keep you waiting for the rest of 30 minutes. So I let this piece of garbage run for half an hour, and as you can see, it generated a bit of hydrogen at the top. Uh, of the water which is being output, is dripping out over here, and so is pure oxygen. 
but there is a bit of hydrogen at the top. Now, if I keep this thing running for another half an hour, maybe a little bit more like 50 minutes, it will begin generating, it will generate an entire bottle. Uh, unfortunately, I do not need an entire bottle. What I have right now is just about enough. So I still have not figured out the orange stuff inside of it is. Uh, it seems to be something particularly insoluble. Uh, if anyone knows, tell me in the comments section because I am genuinely curious. But for now, this half a bottle of hydrogen gas is all I got and all I really will be making. So this is what I got. As you can see, it's now, now has a fully normal lid. I can keep this however I want. I can rest Leave it on a side like this, I can move it around how I want. This setup won't be interfering anymore. Alright, so as you can see, it made a loud pop, which is the sign of a hydrogen ox uh, oxidation reaction. That is how you make hydrogen from water, using a power source. Now if you like this video, do like, subscribe, and comment. Doesn't mean much for you, means a lot for me though. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, try not to put the hydrogen close to any type of flame. Alright, that's it. See ya!